today we're going to be making fish stew. I have a recipe for chicken stew in case you're interested. It's in the link in the description box. But today is for fish stew. Fish stew is awesome with rice, well plantain, you know, yams and all that. And everything depends on the kind of fish you use. The kind of fish you use is going to give it a unique flavor or taste. I love to use croaker fish because croaker fish does not scatter in the pot so it's always safe and it is very delicious. If you want to see how I made this stew, keep watching, don't forget to click the like button, don't forget to subscribe and make sure you share this video. So now you're going to get some tomatoes, fresh tomatoes and blend them and also you're going to add some pepper as well. I have different types of peppers in here, I have atarudo, I have red chili and I have the big bowl peppers. Now onto the fish, this is the croco fish, it's been washed and it was soaking in salt water. So that's been for about 10 minutes or so. And next we're going to fry this fish. Um, the oil used to fry this fish is what's going to be used for the stew, just for some added flavor. Allow the oil to heat up some more. The way I test if my oil is hot is by adding one scapegoat onion to test if it's hot enough. Then you add your onion and allow to fry for a bit so that all the flavors of the onion will come out. You stir and then you add your thyme. I'm using the Ducrose brand thyme and the Ducrose brand curry. I love them. When the oil is hot enough and the onion is cooked, you're going to add your tomato mixture. Don't mind the fact that I spilled over there when we're cooking, we have accidents. And the best way to keep your kitchen clean is always to clean up as you're messing things up. Wash the dishes as you're using them. That's the easiest way to keep your kitchen clean. The next thing I'm going to do is add my bouillon cube, which is Maggi and then I'm going to add some salt also, just a bit of salt, not too much. Now stir the mixture and allow to cook. This is going to cook for about 10 to 20 minutes till the oil rises to the top. That's how you know the stew is cooked. Because I want this stew to be really, really dry, I'm going to allow it to fry some more. It's going to really be delicious because it will fry and fry. That's what they call dry stew. It's going to fry till it's very, very dry. Like this. Now this is how I love my stew. The next thing I'm going to do is to add my fried fish. And you're just going to place this around make sure the pot is not too crowded if not your fish will start to scatter and just allow this to cook for another maybe five to ten minutes and your stew is ready this is what my fish stew looked like it was so delicious it was so yum anyways if you love this video make sure you click the thumbs up button click the subscribe button and make sure you share with your friends so they can see how to make fish stew too <laughs> Thank you for watching. See you in my next video. Bye